Alright, here it is in the light of day. The anvil. Okay, now the latest episode in the saga. My new forge. I drew up some plans and had uh, a local welding shop weld this thing up for me. It's 8 inches in diameter, 6 inch opening. I bought some uh, ceramic blanket to line it with. I've got a fire brick in there. It's 14 inches long. Now here's the problem. This is a 3 inch diameter pipe. I didn't do my homework. This is too big. All right. This was my air inlet. Okay. This is my air supply. All right. And I took the gas nib and somewhere here I uh, I drilled a hole and put the gas nib in right there. You notice what happened? It burned. This thing started to melt. And the reason is because this is uh, the, the volume or the cross-sectional area of this does not allow for high velocity airflow down into the forge. This is low velocity. So the and plus the, the gas was coming in at the at the side instead of with the airflow. So it's getting combustion up here and not much heat down here. But I've been corresponding with a guy um, who has videos on YouTube and I'll I'll uh, let you know his name once he tells me I can. But anyway I've been corresponding with this guy, and he has given me tons of help on trying to figure out this problem, and I'm going to document the fix, hopefully, the fix, in this video. Okay, I've already established that this, as a setup, is crap. Too big, not enough, not enough velocity of the air getting down in there, carrying the gas along with it, so I get combustion up in here, it melts it. No heat comes down here. Okay, this is crap. This is the fix. This is Schedule 40 uh, iron pipe, heavy duty stuff. And I have not, uh, I haven't put any pipe dope on any of these threads because um, I got to take some pieces apart. But this is how it's going to work. This is now the outlet. Instead of three inches in diameter, one inch in diameter. This is going to fit down in here and this part fits nice. I'm going to put some set screws around here to hold this in place and I'll be able to adjust a little bit here and there if I want to. I'm going to drill and tap threads into here for this to go into so the gas flow will be straight down the bore of the airflow and at this end this is where the hair dryer goes so it'll be set up kinda like this it's gonna look like some sort of Frankenstein monster but my hope is that it's going to work a hell of a lot better than what I had before. First step is I'm going to drill and tap for my gas inlet to go in right here. I've drilled a pilot hole 5 16 of an inch in diameter. And this is the tap I'm going to use to cut threads into this so that this will thread in there at about that angle. Okay, and there we go. My gas inlet is now threaded into this. Now I need to drill three equally spaced holes, tap them for bolts that will act as uh, set screws to hold this assembly in place.
like the guy said where I got these uh, these pieces of pipe don't skimp on the thread compound Alright, there it is, Frankenstein. I'm about to fire it up for the very first time, and you all will get to see what happens. Hell, for all I know, it might explode. But, here goes. Wow, it works. Great, great. The only downside I can see is that if I keep the burner turned up to high, it actually starts to melt that ceramic cloth that's in there. Holy crap. All right, so there is my forced air gas-powered propane forge. Here's my anvil. And I am ready to rock. By the way, the guy who helped me with this, and you know who you are, I cannot thank you enough, man. You saved me days and days of flailing around trying to figure this thing out. All right. Be good, y'all.